Well, Facebook said Peter Thiel is still on the board for diversity's sake. He may have missed the new skin cell daddy and the tiny robots we need in our lives. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where my hope is that I see far more of these sort of Samsung Note 7 costumes than I do sexy trumps. Wearables already count our steps and help us pummel 8-bit Mike Tysons, but they're stuck on our wrists and belt loops. But that's just for now, because researchers from MIT and Stanford developed a line of tiny wearable robots that grab onto your clothes to literally walk all over you. The researchers think one day a tiny contingent of these adorable machines could swarm down your arm to create a temporary video screen on your wrist before marching themselves back into your pocket. God, I hope so. And also, let's hope that they're never turned evil by any maniacal madmen. What does it take to get through to you? He sees everything, he knows everything that's going on in here. Ah! In things that are happening, whether you feel weird about it or not, scientists from Japan were able to turn the skin cells of a mouse into mature egg cells that then actually created offspring. They did it by turning the skin cells into stem cells, then sex cells, then put the little guys in a petri dish beside mouse ovaries and tricked them into growing. While drawing out the family tree of skin flakes would be real awkward for these mice, this development is far more sad for my man, Maury. Go ahead, say it one last time. When it comes to two-month-old Michaela, Mike, you are the father. <laughs> and now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. WikiLeaks showed us Hillary Clinton considered Bill Gates and Tim Cook for her VP position. Tech just overtook banks in amount spent lobbying DC. The Rock is getting his own show on YouTube Red. The ESA's ExoMars mission successfully entered Mars orbit. And Bill Belichick has had enough of the Microsoft surfaces on the sidelines. Belichick said technology often fails him, so that must be what happened to the footballs. 